Good morning. I'm in this lovely place called Jeffreys Bay. It's on the coast and just about to go surfing with some guys from the youth hostel. And our plan is to go to a place called Supertubes, which is one of the 10 best places on the planet to go surfing. In the Supertubes car park and out there is the big wave, although actually admittedly today it's not that big. Um, and we're gonna head out there, it's raining and drizzling, but we're gonna head out and see if we can catch some waves. Well, I've just come in from the surfing and that was hard work. I spent like 97% of my time trying to battle against the waves to get out there and only about 3% of my time actually standing up on the board. So that was exhausting and a little bit frustrating, but good fun. And the other thing that was really tricky was getting out there across the rocks. The rocks are like razor sharp and I did cut myself a little bit on my feet and on my little finger. So that was my surfing experience at Jeffreys Bay and now I'm going to head to the surfing museum to see some sort of surfing memorabilia and learn a little bit more about probably how I should have done surfing. <laughs> I've left Jeffreys Bay and I'm driving along what's known as the Garden Route and you can see why it's called the Garden Route. It's so green and beautiful as you drive along and I've just stopped off at a place called Storms River just to check out the view. There's a bit of a stump of a tree behind me that is 640 years old and uh, just check out the diameter of this tree. I'm now at the mouth of the river and this place is really staggering. I think probably second only to a few places I've visited in the Swiss Alps in terms of its beauty. I'll just show you some shots. But it got me thinking how incredible God's creation is. And yet the Bible says that God's creation is cursed and spoiled. And so I thought, well, if this is what it looks like when it's cursed and spoiled, how amazing is a new perfect creation going to be, heaven? Like, that's going to be amazing. Can't wait. The top tip is basically get the temperature of the fire just right. Temperature, it's got to be 100% right and then you'll have perfect brine. 